Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's time to do another video. Today we're looking at how you can set up live streaming inside of Orchestrator and also on the robot machine. So you can monitor a job as it is running in real time on the screen in a browser. Let's get to it. So probably your automations also crash from time to time. I know mine do. And investigating those crashes can sometimes be a little bit tricky because usually the environment I, that the robot is running in is off somewhere remotely. And, uh, you know, I need access to that environment, usually through some kind of VPN software. Then I need to remote desktop into the actual machine at the risk of interrupting, you know, a session where an automation might be running. Of course, you can check those things in Orchestrator and stuff like that, but it can sometimes just be a lot of trouble. So with the ability to live stream, you can monitor those running jobs in real time in a browser, watching what the robot is doing. And it's very easy to set it up. So let's try and do that. So what you see here on my screen is my orchestrator. And in the background, we have a virtual machine that is my unattended robot machine where we will actually be executing some jobs. So inside of Orchestrator, what we're going to do first is we're going to set up a process. As you can see here in my automations page, uh, we don't have any processes set up yet. So I have a process or a package on this machine. It's called a uh, slow process, I believe. And all that process does is it shows a message box on the screen. After a few seconds, the message box disappears. After another few seconds, it reappears and then kind of goes on and off. Uh, just so we can see that something is actually running on the machine. So let's set that process up real quick. So I add a new process, I select the package, it's called slow process, and I select next and next. And then in this last page, I want to allow live streaming. And I can also enable this option to allow remote control when live streaming. I'm going to enable that also and click create. So now we actually have a, a process that we can run. If I run this and start and we switch to the, uh, virtual machine here, we should see in just a few seconds, um, the robot start up and kick into gear and start displaying these uh, message boxes. There we go. Hello world. And then in a second or two, it disappears. And if we wait for, I believe it's eight seconds or something, we should see a message box reappear again. There we go. So this is our robot running, right? What we can do if we go into orchestrator into the jobs page, we can see here that we have a running job called slow process. If I go over here to the action menu, I can open a live stream to that process. If I do that, I get nothing because we haven't set this up yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this window again. I'm actually going to kill the job. There we go. So now the job has stopped. And then I'm going to go back into the virtual machine. And I downloaded this tight VNC software. And there's a link to that in the description below. And all we need to do is install that. There's a couple of decisions we make, need to make along the way. I'll show you how to do that. So let's just get into that as well. I start the installation. I click Next. I accept the license agreement. I click Next again. And then I select the custom installation type. Click Next. And in this page, I need to deselect this register tight VNC server as a system service. We need to deselect it, although it is recommended to be selected. And then I'll click next again, install, accept whatever it asks us permissions to do, and click finish. And now tight VNC server has been installed. This is the software that enables this live streaming. So if we now go back into Orchestrator and we restart this job, we can see that the job is running. And if we just jump into the machine here, we can see that the uh, message boxes will start to appear. There we go. And if I then jump back into Orchestrator and go to the action menu and now select open live stream, what we should see is the exact same thing as we see on the screen. There we go. We can actually see that these two are synced. I don't know why it changed the desktop uh, background all of a sudden. But now you can see that as a message box appears in the virtual machine, it also appears in the live stream. So that's it. We are now watching in a browser something that is being executed on a robot machine. And I know in this case, the robot machine is right here on my desktop because it's a virtual machine that I'm just running locally. But if this was on a remote server somewhere in a foreign country or a city at a client site or something like that, 
you'd also be able to see that. More than that, you are able to click this take remote control button up here. So if I take a remote control, and as soon as the next message box uh, appears here, I can just click OK, and then it won't wait for a few seconds. It'll just disappear right away. So I can actually interact with the robot that is running on that remote machine. This is an incredibly strong feature because if you have the VNC software installed on any robot machine, if that robot machine is um, connected to an orchestrator and you have enabled on the process level the ability to live stream and even remote control what is being live, live streamed, then you have access to a real live view of any job that is being executed um, on any uh, orchestrator, machine, process, whatever that you have access to. And that is incredibly powerful when you're trying to sort of uh, maybe uh, do a maybe quick and dirty uh, sort of uh, remedy of a, a problem that is occurring. So I know it's not a long-term fix, but when you're just, you know, trying to figure out what's going on on the machine, it is really helpful to be able to do this without, you know, having to go through all of the sign-in and login and VPN and, and the stuff that I talked about in the, in the beginning. So very easy to set up. It is supported in uh, robot versions 23.4 and 23.10. There are some changes coming for uh, later versions. I think this will actually be supported without having to install a uh, third-party software. But so far, between those two versions, 23.4 and 23.10, you do need to install the Type PNC software. It's very easy. It's free. So I hope you, uh, you, you try that out. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe to it. I try to put out new videos about every week. And hit the notification bell. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. So thank you for watching. Take care. See you next time.